are the rest of the runners. Trev, 20 laps of journey. Amcar's in the house. Amcar A main shock absorber therapy round. We are green. Pricey leads the Q1 of Blanche down into one for the first time. Thomas Vickery on the, oh, look out, Blanche, he's around in front of the whole pack and this car's going every which way to try and avoid the 24. That seriously looked like NASCAR carnage. It was, it was not what you wanted and Tony Blanche would have just had his eyes shut going, please don't hit me. Actually, I thought I was going to get like bitterly cold before when the wind got up but the winds died again so that's good there we go 20 laps of the journey folks sit back and car nationals let's let them loose trev yeah uh, start number two still 20 on the board pricey repeats the dose of the first one and moves up into the lead blanche this time will go through turn two and set sail after the tail of the six car price out in front vickery settles into second spot then it's michael mason in the 22, followed by Steve Potts, Lewis Gamble, Tim Gamble, and it's a McKinnell. Oh, Jamie Sawinski. Yeah, no, if you'd have seen what happened there, Stewie Jeffries, that front left-hand tyre, got him all screwed up, and he just absolutely drilled Jamie Sawinski, and the Sawinski car got some air. I'm guessing that's Stewie Jeffries down the bottom, is it? Yeah, it is. Can't actually see the number, but can just see the roof line. We would have got the leader across the line before that incident happened. Uh, Jamie's out, flat uh, right rear. Yeah, unfortunately for Jamie Zawinski. Uh, night over as we go back to green. 19 left to run. Pricey, Blanche, Vickery, Mason, Potts looks on the inside of the 22 as they go through turns one and two. Down the back, through the bottom part of the... Uh, track three and four onto the front straight away and it is still mason hanging on from Potts. that is the battle for fourth and fifth on the racetrack further back it's uh timmy gamble ahead of lewis gamble mckinnell on the outside in the 85 but meanwhile out front it is steve price holding on from the current queensland champion in tony blanche thomas vickery using the high side of the circuit sitting up against a cushion to try and catch these two out in front who are running on the bottom. Potts is on the bottom, Mason goes over the cushion and loses fourth spot. McKinnell has gone around the outside of the gambles and moved up into uh, what is now sixth. Then it's Timmy Gamble, oh, Dutchy Holland spins the uh, 20 car down in turn two on the bike track and I think they'll uh, keep it green. He is off the race line as uh, Lewis Gamble in all sorts of problems and has got a flat tyre on that, so he's pulling in. Now the yellows come on. The yellows come on for for Dutchy Holland. He gets... He, uh, the Amkers are playing for sheep stations in tonight. A-Main, 15, still the run. Price gets a good jump on Blanche. Vickery's still third, Potts is now fourth. Then it's Mason, McKinnell, uh, Timmy Campbell, Durston, who's about to be passed by Brownsey. Declan having a look up the inside of Durston but couldn't get the job done. Story and Holland now at the tail of the field. Price starting to stretch the lead. Vickery now looking for a, a way under Blanche. Potts, oh, Potts is gone. Rotates the 32 out of turn two. Gets it back underway, but will rejoin at the tail of the field in last position behind the battle between Story and Holland. Meanwhile, Michael Mason has fallen back behind Lee McKinnell. McKinnell now up into what is fourth position with Potsy having thrown that away. Well, the afterburners are starting to come on in the 24 car. Oh, yeah, Blanche's keep an eye on that, folks. Look oh, at that. that. <laughs> Sensational. Love it. Meanwhile, Pricey's out in front going, you can have all the fireworks you like. Blanche, I'm just taking off. Vickery, McKennell. Then it's Gamble. That's uh, Timmy Gamble, followed by Durston. Michael Mason's dropped back into the clutches of Browns. He's uh, challenging with that little 2-5-3. Nick Story says, 
Yeah, I'll just run around on the bike track. I'm not sure whether he's had an incident or whether he's just circulating down there with a problem just to get the chequered flag and some points. Holland is still in front of Potts, who hasn't been able to get past the 20 car since he got back on after his spin down there in turn two. On about lap, 50, uh, about lap six. Nine left to run for Steve Price. Got a comfortable four or five car gap over Blanche. Big flames of Blanche's car as he gets into one. Durston starting to get some speed on and catching McKinnell. That is fourth spot on the racetrack. Still third is Thomas Vickery. Just travelling comfortably in third under no pressure from anyone. McKinnell in the Kempe car gets a bit high. Allows Durston to close in a bit more. There's uh, Timmy Gamble. Brownsy's got past the car of Mason, but Brownsy goes high down in the bottom in uh, one and two. And allows Mason to look back up the inside, but Mason can't get the pass done, and Brownsy hangs on to that position. Oh, Mason's gone on the front straightaway. As the field comes barreling out of turn four, Mason's driving backwards down the front straight, looking at everyone coming at him. It was like Dukes of Hazard's whacked it into reverse real quick and just backed it up. Yeah. Yep. Shock absorber therapy, Amcar Nationals round here tonight as we go back to green. Six to run. Up on the BK trading board. Price leads. Vickery now has decided that it's time to make a move on Blanche. McKinnell under the yellow has got to close up on the back of Vickery and he's saying, well, I'd like to be on the podium as well. And Durston says, don't leave me out. And now it's a five-way battle at the front. Tim Gamble, Declan Brownsy, Steve Potts has got around the outside of Holland and Nick Storey. It's on. Blanche has been passed by Vickery down in three and four. Here comes McKinnell. Durston's on the bottom. McKinnell's on the high side. Blanche covers his ground. Durston and McKinnell run side by side. Blanche goes to the top on the entry in the three, then squares the corner off and drops to the bottom. Vickery still in second spot. Price is out in front. He doesn't care what's going on behind. He's leading this and he is comfortable out in front. Here comes Durston down the inside. Oh, Blanche. Will he get third? McKinnell looks like he's going to follow Durston if he can get the job done. Blanche gets over the cushion, almost kisses the wall out of two, and has gone back to fourth. Drops down to the bottom of the racetrack in turn three, so McKinnell cannot get through. And this is the battle on the track. Meanwhile, Lewis G uh, Timmy Gamble is catching. Browns, he's got pots on his back. And uh, Holland along for good measure as well. Price. Check it, flag and race win to Steve Price. Vickery in second. Durston will get third. Blanche hangs on just from McKinnell for fourth. And it's Timmy Gamble, Declan Brownsy, Steve Potts, and Graham Holland. Nick Story will round out the runners in the 14 car. Folks, put your hands together for our Amca Nationals feature winner tonight and Steve Price. There from Thomas Vickery into second spot and Nathan Durston in for third. We will catch up with our winners or our winner in just a second. He's got the lid off. We're just waiting for Pricey to exit the right price exhaust number six. Put your hands together for him, folks. Your A-Main winner tonight, Steve Price.